If you logged onto Entrad today and noticed that it just plays a little different, feels a little better overall, you would be correct because the development team has released a much needed big update and with it comes a lot of fixes and we are going to dive into that right now. So kicking off this update with what they have fixed so far, they have fixed several of the rare crashes. Now, I don't know if any of you had ever experienced it. I certainly didn't run into it too often, but every now and again, and I mean very seldom, you would run into a problem where you could be mining, fighting, running around, just roaming around, or just standing there at your base waiting to uh, build or improve upon it, and the game would cr just crash. It would just crash out of nowhere, and uh, there was really nothing you could do about it. No one really knew what was causing the crashes. However, and again, they were incredibly rare, but they have fixed that. The next two items on the list that they fixed, which is a very nice addition, is the fact that they reduced the CPU load for the idle servers and improved performance in large player bases and large crop fields. I don't know if you noticed it, but if you were getting into the group of friends and you guys had large crop fields and you were trying to harvest that, it would certainly lag a little bit. And especially if the, those people that have these epic base builds and you would go inside there, there was definitely a little bit of lag, but they fixed that, it's looking great, and uh, it's, a, it's a very much welcomed addition. Something else you might have noticed is the fact that they've redistributed roaming enemies in several areas for improved balancing. It wasn't, uh, wasn't very common, but every now and again you would go to a lower level area and or a higher level area, and you would come across enemies that just didn't match the uh, level that you needed to be in. You'd go into a area that was maybe good for like level sevens, level tens, and then you would run across some pretty high level enemies that would give you a run for your money. And it just it wasn't uh, it wasn't correct. So they fixed that, so you shouldn't be having any more problems with that. With that goes into the second thing, and the fact that they fixed more cases of enemies with incorrect levels for the region that they were found. And again, that goes into what we were just talking about. Uh, higher levels and lower levels in the wrong regions that you would run into. It was kind of annoying, but again, it was also kind of a rare case, something you didn't really run into. An issue that they're taking away that I'm, uh, I, I mean, I guess it needed to be fixed, but I'm kind of sad to see it go, is the fact that they, they fix an issue that could lead to wax and honey spawning in the player base without having to harvest a hive first. Uh, I'll show you exactly what they mean. So in my little beautiful tower here that I've constructed, uh, just under the staircase here where this workbench is, you have all this honey and wax that's uh, accumulating. Now, I haven't hi or harvested a hive or and planted it all. It just spawns there randomly, and it's been pretty helpful. I mean, I could come back, I can get my nine honey, nine wax, and then go back, come back an hour later, and it's been there. It's, it's been a cheat. It's sad to see it go, but they did fix that. So if you had anywhere in your base where you would run across and say, why is there honey? Now you know. Now the big thing, this is going to go for the archers and rangers out there that I think you're going to really enjoy, is the fact that they've increased the yield of twigs from grown bushes and uh, also increased the yield of feathers from their sources. This is going to go out for the rangers and the people that use the bows the most. Uh, it was, while it wasn't super difficult to run out there and harvest, you know, 50 different bushes, you could do it pretty quickly. The fact that they're going to yield more twigs, it's going to save us a lot more time, is a nice addition. But the fact that they fixed the uh, yield of the feathers, that's what's going to help a lot. It wasn't uncommon to kill a bird and you'd get one feather, maybe two, and you would have to kill so many just to be able to get the, the, the arrows that you wanted. So the fact that they're reworking the, the yield amounts for twigs and uh, feathers, that's going to, that'll help the rangers so much. Such a, such a welcomed addition. Thank you very much, developers. I am a happy man now when it comes to that stuff. For those of you out there that uh, were crafting the high-end armor sets, you might have noticed that you needed a lot of flax needed just to craft the high-end armor sets, and the uh, developers have now fixed that with a little jest in there saying it was maybe a bit too much padding. So don't worry about it. You can start making those high-end armor sets and uh, start using a little less flax. I uh, need to start working on my armor because I am still rocking low-tier armor, but it's working for me. I'm getting out there, I'm dishing out death and destruction with the bow, but I could certainly use some more high-end armor. So it'll be nice to, uh, nice to see that we don't need too much of that. And for anyone that is using books in their bases and just decorative books, you might have noticed, I think it was, it was a bit ridiculous. I think, what was it, something like 60 deconstructed books in order to make like one or two books it was uh it was a bit much and it didn't really make much sense uh fear not because the developers have come out and said that they've lowered the amount of resources needed to craft decorative books also with the jest and they're saying not all books are the wheel of time it was uh 
When I first started that and I was making my base and I wanted to put some books in there just to make it look nice, I thought 60 books for a freaking one decorative book? That, that's just a waste of time. So I think I have like one in my base now and if, now that they've lowered that, I'll, I'll happily put more in there. If you've been playing with friends and you notice that sometimes you would uh, climb on the walls under ladders and you could interfere with each other, that has also been fixed. You no longer will interfere with each other. Uh, they fixed that. I haven't run into that personally. I know um, I, I have read about it being a thing, but that has never been an issue for for me. So if you've run into that and you wish the developers fixed it, fear not. It has arrived and it has been fixed, so you will never have to worry about that again. Something I have run into, though, and uh, for me, I, I'm, maybe other people it'll be a nice fix, but for me it's certainly a great fix is the fact that they uh, they had an issue, there was an issue where you would complete a dungeon or be in combat in a dungeon, and uh, the music would just go quiet. It would stop. And I wasn't sure if that was part of the game or if that was a bug. Turns out it was, in fact, a bug, and they have fixed that. So, no longer after you're finished with combat in the dungeons will the, uh, the music just stop. And that is one of the big selling points of this game is not only is it awesome for the crafting and the, the combat they've done a, a exemplary job with this there's certainly some things that could be fixed still but for what it is they've done a outstanding job but the music my goodness i love the music of this game it's calming it's relaxing i could go out and harvest a, a, a hundred different freaking types of resources and just listen to the music and it would uh it, it's enough it's it's beautiful so Great fix, thank you developers. Something they have in here is one of the things that they fixed or they, they tweaked in the game world portion is that they polished several points of interest. Now, I'm gonna be very honest with you, I have no idea what that means. I have been looking around and I maybe it's just because the, the update is a little new. If you happen to know what they mean by that they've uh, polished several points of interest, please comment down below. Let me know what it is because I'm, I'm very curious and I have yet to find it in the world as of right now as to what they've polished. But I believe them. I'm sure it looks great. Other little gameplay things that they fixed uh, for you builders out there. The castle wall blocks now have the same maximum stack capacity of 5,000 like the other building blocks. Uh, they fixed some rare cases where looted weapons had an incorrect item level. And they also fixed cases where doors or open doors would block arrows or other projectiles. Could certainly be annoying uh, when in combat, having to deal with the fact that you're trying to shoot through an open door and it is blocking your projectiles. It made no sense, but they fixed that. Uh, overall, super happy with this update. It's uh, certainly made a noticeable difference just in the gameplay and general gameplay of how Enshrouded is running. Really happy where the developers are going with this. If you guys are happy with it, comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see and be fixed in future updates. Again, these are one. Of, this is one of the rare cases where the developer is actually listening to its player base. So make sure you get out there, report the issues, and uh, express what you would like to see done because it's very likely that you're going to see it uh, fixed in the next update or the or future upcoming updates, if you will. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Likewise, smash that like button if you did so it can get out to many more so they can see it. And if you are new to the channel and want to see more updates on this video game and others coming out and just gameplay in general, please consider subscribing. Anyways, happy hunting out there. Hope you guys really uh, enjoy this new patch. And until next time, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?